All right, y'all, we got a trespasser who's been coming by almost every single night, and we got to get him out of here. Got a fresh fig right there, baby. This is a purple passion fig, beautiful purple color. I always blow in the little hole, see if there's any bugs that are, or ants or anything in there. Try to get him out, but take a bite. Oh my God, look at that beautiful chewy center. Oh my God, it's delicious. These are enormous, oh my God. There is an awesome breeze blowing in. I actually knocked over one of my plants. This guy is called the popcorn cassia. Popcorn cassia, the reason it's so cool is because the blooms smell like buttered popcorn. It is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite flowers. I got this from my friend that works at Moody Gardens down in Galveston, actually, and the plant has grown probably eight foot tall. I need to repot it and put it in a bigger pot. I just haven't had the time to do it. <laughs> and it's too hot. You really don't want to be uh, transplanting stuff when it's this hot. I'm such a fan of hanging baskets. I love these lantanas that do really well in hanging baskets because you can put them up in like your greenhouse, your carport, and bring in stuff like hummingbirds and butterflies and all those good pollinators and really increase the pollination rates on your garden. So uh, I'm a big, big fan of hanging baskets and putting them everywhere throughout your house. My dragon fruit is going crazy. Uh, this guy was actually hanging straight up and then it started getting super breezy to where it fell over, but it didn't break. Uh, they have these air roots, you can see them right here. I built this little trellis, got them growing in like a 15 gallon pot down here with all these porch alakas, and then they climb up. I had to actually add this portion on another four feet. So that's four feet here and another four feet. So these were upwards of, God, 12 to 15 feet tall. But they'll put on these beautiful purple flowers that'll actually bloom at night in Typically bats are the ones that pollinate these in their native Mexico, but I don't think we have that species of bat that actually does the pollinating. We do have some bats. I've been hearing them a lot lately at night. I'll hear the little squeak, squeak, squeaks flying around and I've seen them. Uh, but mostly when these actually bloom, you have to go and hand pollinate them yourself. So you'll take like a paintbrush and like a bowl and then uh, go ahead and pretty much brush the pollen into a bowl, mix it all up, and then, you know, put it back on the flower. It's pretty wild, but I've only got two. I've got one here, and I've got another dragon fruit cactus over here, and it is actually climbing on the fence. See, it's coming here, and it has attached itself to the fence, and it's crazy. It might have some, might have a bloom there. I don't know if that's a bloom, but everything's doing pretty well. We got a little bit of rain today. We got a little bit of rain today. I was so blown away. We got maybe like an eighth of an inch, but it sprinkled. It was so nice. I, I wasn't even here. I was at my grandpa's 80th birthday party and my wife said, hey, it rained. And I was like, whoa. And I saw it was just barely enough to get the concrete wet. But we've had an intruder in the garden. We've had an intruder coming in at night. And every time he comes around, my dog knows he's here and he freaks out. He's actually gotten into a wrestling match with one of them. I think it might be the same one coming back. Um, so we've got to do something about it. And if y'all saw the most recent video, you know that it's a possum. Uh, well, I think we're calling him uh, Frank, Fairway Frank. <laughs> if y'all watch Park, Parks and Rec, you'll know who Fairway Frank is. Uh, but I like possums. I don't have any issues with possums. Uh, I'm going to relocate this possum, not because I, not because he's stealing figs or eating my vegetables. I'm more than happy to share, you know, fruits and vegetables with native wildlife. Uh, my problem is that every time my dog gets out here with them, they've gotten into, this, into it. Uh, my dog has jumped up on the fence and grabbed them. Um, and I don't want the possum to get hurt. I really don't. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll set the trap tonight and we'll put it out on the side that I saw him at most recently. And uh, hopefully we can catch him tonight and then relocate him in the morning. This is my second attempt to catch Fairway Frank. <laughs> uh, I, have, I did not have good luck last time. 
um, it has been so dry that these native animals are looking for any source of moisture. So, I mean, they're thirsty. They see those ripe figs. I haven't picked them yet. And they're like, ooh, good stuff. So I don't blame them for coming in and looking for an easy meal. Uh, it's, it's totally cool. Uh, the problem is that he's getting in, getting in some things with my dog. I don't want him and Duke to hurt each other. So uh, I put some figs in here previously. They're obviously not good anymore. They always say if you're going to go fishing, you're going to go hunting, know what your prey likes. So I know he likes figs. So we're going to put some more figs in here. And then I've also seen on like TikTok and stuff, I've seen a bunch of little like baby possums eating grapes. So I know they like grapes. So we're going to put some figs and some grapes back here in the trap. And then I'm going to take this trap over and kind of put it where I saw them the other night. So yeah, I love animals. I, I'm a, a hardcore, you know, I, just, I love animals. I love possums, raccoons. Uh, squirrels, all that good stuff. Um, but for it being in like a subdivision, like I live in a subdivision. I don't kind of live in the subdivision. I'm not in the country. Um, so I, the best thing to do for this possum's well-being and my dog's well-being, my dog's already like, where's the possum at, huh? Um, so I'm going to put this bad boy over here where we saw him the other night. Right over here, you can see the aftermath of Duke right here saw the possum up on the fence and then he jumped up broke this pot shattered it and uh, the possum was literally right there when i took that picture and then over there in that corner um, so the plan is to maybe just set this trap right here and uh, leave it overnight and we'll check it in the morning all right well Clearly, we didn't catch a possum last night. Try it again tonight and see if we can get this guy. Uh, possums are harder to catch than you think. All right, y'all, it is early, early Wednesday morning. And I actually called in sick to work this morning because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting strep throat. But the trap has been set all week. And I woke up to screaming because my dog was freaking out. So let's go check it out. So as you can see, that's our friend, and he is probably really scared right now. He's really scared, and so we're going to go ahead and take him on down the road and put him in a safe spot where he doesn't have to worry about dogs or anything like that. He, uh, I've never heard him growl before. Is your foot caught? I thought he was cute until he started growling at me. Look at those teeth. Just play dead. Just play dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to a safe spot. Be nice. Right, be nice. Now that we're moving, he's not so growly. It's okay, buddy. Not gonna hurt you. You can see, I don't even know if this is the same Duke, same possum. The one that Duke was after had a patch of hair missing around his butt. So I don't know if this is the same one. He ate all the figs though. He ate every single fig and grape that was in there. And then continued to poop and pee all over everything. So we're gonna take him down the road. There's a bunch of bayous around here. Uh, so we're going to drive down the road a little bit and drop him off. I need to get some cough medicine anyway, so it kind of works out. I'm coming home, going back to bed, so I'm exhausted. All right, buddy. Let's get you. Hey, I know. It's okay. Let's get you free. We are out here um, kind of under a bridge, uh, but it's a nice spot where we can let him out and he can run into these woods. So, we send him up here. He will open the gate. Go, buddy. Run. Go. Go. Go.
All right, he scurried off into the woods. So, I like animals. I don't ever want to hurt them. Um, especially native wildlife. Especially native wildlife. So, I always try to, if I can, relocate them to a better location. This is over here by a bridge next to a swamp. Um, I think this dude will be happy. My only issue is that doesn't look like the possum that I saw the other night. The possum I saw the other night had a patch of hair missing on his butt. So uh, maybe we need to set the trap again and see if we catch something else. We're going to keep trying to catch this possum. If y'all have any tips or any expertise on how to catch a possum, I think I'm doing everything right, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. 